Hello dearies! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So, Happy New Year! This is actually the first video I actually filmed in 2022. The past recent uploads were filmed in December 2021. And I was supposed to film something earlier but your girl caught Rona so yeah, unfortunate. So, yeah, for today we have Cheyenne's debut album. I've been really looking forward to this day because Yena was my pick and produced 48, and then of course my bias in Eyes One along with Nako. So, yeah, um, I don't know how to pronounce her company name. It's in Chinese, so pardon me if I pronounce it off. <laughs> so when Ye Yehua Entertainment announced that Yana will be debuting as a soloist, I've been really, really, really looking forward to the day that she'll release her debut album because uh, your girl's got it all, she can do anything, and I'm really excited to see her in the musical part of the industry once again so yeah i got both of her um versions because i'm devoting <laughs> i'm devoting my life to supporting emma and um watch her growth as a musical artist so let's start with this one first oh yeah um, I decided to ditch the white flat lay I, because I decided to start the tradition where I match the, um, my table mat to the color of the year. Actually, I'm still confused what is the real color of the year because it was said to be Evergreen, what's the name? Evergreen Fog, which is, um, muted green and then um, Pantone announced that it was very berry which is um, purple and so yeah but I just decided to follow Pantone so here we are we have this violet or purple mat yeah let's open this this, this is a very special day like I woke up and then the delivery career um, texted and he he's going to um, deliver the package today actually in the uh, tracker it was supposed to be on Monday but yeah it arrived today so yeah I'm <laughs> if you watch my other videos, you know how much I detested um, this type of outbox. So, yeah. Here is, oh, here's the front of the outbox and the back. The front and the back. I like that it's holo. I'm all about holo. So let's open it. Oh, this is cute. It's my first time seeing an album uh, like attached to the album that has a pop up. I've already encountered this in weekly's play game holiday, but it's in the box. So let's do a quick flip through. Um, the I don't know where are the inclusions, so I guess let's just see along the way. How do we do this? Oh, oh, oh. We have some sticker. I think that the inclusions will be scattered all throughout the pages, so I guess let's just do a flip through and just Let's see what we'll get along the way. So we have this first sticker. Um, I'm so sorry for the uh, construction thingy. 
I don't know where it is, but there's some construction going on, so I'm sorry for that. I like how Yena. Oh my God. Anyway, so I like how Yena kept her bangs and ponytail as her signature style. Okay, so we have the photo card. No, oh, wait, let's show the speech first. And then the photo card. This is so cute. Let's put it here. Um, when I say that I was really looking. Oh, okay, we have more stickers. More Yenna stickers. We have three of the same stickers. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, as I said earlier, Yena has always been my pick in Produce 48. Oh, another photo card. Um, ever since I watched uh, Yena, uh, Eden, and Xion's edition, I was blown away because they were really good and Yena showcased powerful and cool choreography there. So she picked my interest right away. And then when Mnet released those, um, I don't know what you call it, I forgot, but those short clips where the trainees will. Uh, introduce themselves and show off their charms or talents to like promote themselves to the nation yeah that one when I watched Yana she um, it was just a short clip but I found her very endearing she's she's such a ball of energy and then she said that her forte one of her forte is dancing to boy group songs which she proved to be really good she danced with um, the same energy and very uh, powerful and then what solidified her oh i'm sorry let's put this away uh, what solidified her as being my pick is when she showcased her vocals because um yana has a vocal color that i really like and she has this sweet but husky voice and then she's also a fan of a pink and yes i am also a pink panda so let's that that really made me happy and she sang a pink's secret which really suited her voice her voice actually reminds me of bommy's um, Bonnie's voice is quite husky too. Oh, another sticker. So yeah, ever since I've been, ever since I um, rooted for her along with Napo, and I am really glad that they both made it to the final lineup. But you know, there's quite. I, I actually uh, don't get me wrong, but I really love Eyes One. Uh, Eyes One is my favorite among all produce groups. So yeah, but another photo card. But you know, sometimes um, being in a large group comes with a certain con because you're designated a part or a role and you know was surprisingly designated as a rapper uh, as for someone who initially didn't have quite training to be a rapper she did pretty well with in doing her part and she did have the tone for it so yeah uh, her being designated as a rapper really um, proved that Yana is an all-rounder because in her auditions, I thought she, uh, she'll be one of those that will be part of the dance line, which is also true because in one of the um, 
missions. She was part of the sorry not sorry team, which is a dance team. So another photo card. Oh, this is a hello one. So yeah, she was part of sorry not sorry, and she also proved to be a um, main vocalist material because in very very very, she was the main vocal in that group. But it's early on. Uh, Yena was showcasing her potential voice. Um, I'm so sorry if uh, everything's askew. I can't see my phone screen. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's why I rooted for her more because she has great potential. So her being assigned as Eyes One's rapper is the final nail in the coffin in proving that she's an all-rounder. She's also a great entertainer. She has uh, she's fit to be in variety shows, and then she recently debuted as uh, an actress as she was casted in a web drama. There's this card. I don't know what this one is called. I forgot to check the um, album details. Here is the CD. So, yeah, as I was saying, she can do anything, um, but Personally, I don't think that she her potential wasn't much explored and utilized when she was in Eyes One because uh, I really wanted a vocalist Yena because she has a great voice and I think it was underutilized in her time in Eyes One. I I know yeah that she's designated to be the rapper though she had some vocal lines but I don't know I just wanted more uh, the same with Nako because Nako proved to be um, one of a stable and good vocalist she did save her group in that group yeah I'm so sorry for that as I was saying, Nako proved to be a good vocalist when she nailed that group battle. And then she kept on improving as the episodes go by. So I was quite disappointed that they both were underutilized and they didn't have much um, exposure during the existence of Eyes One, so yeah. So really, when Hiwa Entertainment and also she, so, uh, Yena will debut as a soloist, I was excited because I know we'll get vocalist Yena back. Wait, let's have a side question. So this is the mini poster. What do you think about mini posters? I personally love mini posters because I think mini posters are more efficient because I'm not the type of person that will hang up every poster that I get and it doesn't help that some companies um, make huge ass posters like what do you want me to do with it um, I, I don't not everyone has the space to put those up and it's not entirely uh, fun to like have lots of uh, tubes because of the posters I actually have trouble um, keeping the posters because I really don't I really do not know what to do with them I don't want to hang them up because some of them are large so I really appreciate mini posters because I think they're much more um, efficient and then you can actually find some space to Put them up because they're small so if you have 
lots of just mini posters it it will actually look cute on the wall we got to admit that huge ass posters does not look good on the wall come on y'all so anyway that's for this version um, what was i saying i'm so sorry i'm a bit lost with life yeah oh yeah the her debut so i've already listened to uh, listened and stream her ep in spotify and it's very yena <laughs> it, it's very yena it's very her i love uh every song because Oh, I forgot to store this. Anyway, I'll just do that later. Wait, before I discuss her album, let me just show you once again what I um, found in the album. So, wait, there's this Miley card. I'm gonna look up what is this card later. And then here are the photo cards. We got one of the holo ones. I think if you collect all, you're gonna be able to form a heart from what I've been seeing in her post. So yeah, anyway, and these are the stickers. So let's put these away. the other version so yeah as I was saying earlier um, I listened to her whole album already and every day <laughs> quite a few times and my favorite track would be before anyone else because it's a chill slow I uh, like ballad type of song and um, her sweet voice was showcased in this one and I have just this affinity to chill and ballad type of songs um let's yeah I'm so sorry for that that's my neighbor kicking the door I don't know why and I guess I have to be fast because the kids are going up and they're gonna start screaming anyway this is my favorite track because uh, it's ballad type. I recommend this one. Actually, I recommend all. Now, my next favorite is the title track uh, because it's a cute upbeat song and it's actually catchy. So, ever since I streamed this on the release day, it's been stuck until today. So, yeah. And um, I'm really happy to see that she also wrote and produced some of this. Oh my gosh, this girl is so talented. So I, I hope um, more people would uh, uh, look her up and support her because girl, I'm gonna support you. I am excited to see your growth in the musical industry so yeah that's all my thoughts for this uh for yena's debut i like the concept of this better because i don't know i i have less affinity with so much color so yeah well, this is cute um, if I were to give Vienna her own binder, I'd like to use this as a binder cover. And it's actually cute to see her former eyes on member support her. Um, I've scrolled to yet through Vienna's IG stories and each of the eyes on members share about her song stickers i think this is the same one 
Yes. I don't, I'm not sure. I forgot. I'm so sorry. Smiley. And it's also cute how Nako and Hitomi did the smiley challenge. It's, it's just so great to see that they all still have great relationship uh, relationships with one another even though they've been disbanded for quite some time already. And I'm excited to see um, Yena guest on Music Bank because Won Young is an MC there, so it's quite of a reunion for them and yeah. <laughs> So here's another see here's another photo card. So I guess both versions show for heart if you collect all the photo cards. I don't think I will um, um, collect all. I'll just keep what I pull because I have a lot on my plate right now. I haven't fixed my collecting plans and priorities for 2022 because of Rona and I'm on my last week for this semester. Another smiley card. And actually we're suspended for a week because there's a surge, there's a sudden surge here in the Philippines. So we, um, the Commission on Higher Education decided to suspend classes on all levels because of the surge uh, if, of course even though most of us are home I guess it's inevitable because even I got it so yeah and I actually have Saturday classes and tomorrow and the suspension is just on um, December uh, January 15 to 21 and tomorrow is the 22nd so I think we'll have class tomorrow and when the 24th of January comes it's the start of the fight this week and then I'm done <laughs> so I haven't really fixed my life because I've been in quarantine for a long time just to be sure that I'm okay because some of my family members are showing signs and symptoms so I have to protect them and protect myself. This concept is really 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 cute. I like it. I really have an affinity for cute and bright concepts and um, vibrant and bold ones and I like how the inclusions of this album uh, are scattered so it, it would be quite a surprise what you'll get or where you see where where you'll see it now uh, I get tongue-tied with R and L S and H I don't know why. There's the CD and the accordion. I guess um, her bangs and high pony would be her signature. <laughs> I would still defend the PD poster agenda. I, I really, really, really wish that um, companies would, um, would just do mini posters because it's much more efficient for everybody. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's all for Yena's debut album. Overall, I'm really really happy and proud for Yena for her debut album because I it's her album is very her and she worked hard on it performance wise and songs wise because yeah and I'm really looking forward to her um, musical journey <laughs> I'm out of words I'm so sorry so yeah um, thanks for hanging out with me I think this video is quite long I'm so sorry uh, so let's hang out on the next Bye-bye!